what's good guys it is your boy Jason JD saying welcome to another Saints Row 2 gameplay video we got to put the firearms away because we are about to enter Stillwater PD you know what I'm saying the Stillwater Police Department um, because we are about to hit up this Revelations mission and if I wanted to I could have went straight to the mission but for continuity sake uh, I wanted to do this you know the way that it's intended to be done by listening to um, by finding out for our player here uh, what what went down who was responsible for what went down on the yacht and whatnot you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and see if we can find our way uh, to where we're supposed to go uh, it's been a while since I played this so I can't remember exactly the pathway to go to you'll notice the police officers are not doing anything to me and that is because Troy gave them orders to leave me be because I need to know what happened on the night when I met with the alderman you know on the yacht so okay let's see do we go through here oh yeah okay up here I believe it's gonna be the very top floor or actually detective Buru I think it's in here and voila we found it um, excuse me ma'am thank you So, in case you guys are wondering when that meeting took place, if you notice, um, when Julius was on the phone with the player, I'm not, huh? But anyway, when Julius was on the phone uh, with the player, you may have noticed that uh, Troy was at TNA. He was drinking at the bar, and that's because, you know, he had to face that difficult task of arresting whom he believes are his friends. And uh, you saw Dex um, about to enter that same TNA. And that was when he decided to confront Troy, letting him know that Dex knew, or at least he found out, that Troy was a cop. So anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this next conversation. How you doing, Julius? I was doing better before I got arrested. I wanted to talk to you about that. I bet you do. Listen, Julius, you made some bad choices, but... You're a good man. Let, let me help you out. What do you want? I want the Saints to be gone. Okay? Now there's two ways that that can happen. You can arrest all of us. Well, you guys can quit while you're ahead. All right? This is my investigation. I can miss a few collars. What are you saying? Dex is out of the game, and you're in jail. If you can convince Johnny and your number two to drop their flags, the Saints will fall apart, and everyone goes home happy. You don't think this will work, do you? You think I like arresting my friends? Convince them to quit, and I won't have to. There's no way that player's gonna stop. Make them understand. Let's say I can. How do I know I'm going free? I've already talked to the mayor. Hughes is willing to give you guys pardons. Little man and get right to the court. Yo, can you speed this shit up? I wanna go to Freckle Bitches. I'm not, huh? Yeah, son. Make no mistake about this. But if it makes it any easier on you, I'll be sure to thank you in my acceptance speech. I'll see what I can do. Now, if you're wondering when that interrogation took place, that took place uh, during the time uh, Marshall Winslow had us uh, doing the epilogue uh, missions. Uh, that, that was that was the reason why Troy wasn't at the church with uh, the player. Uh, who else was there? Gat and Dex. You know, and little did we know, Dex had you know dropped his flags and was going to go straight. But I guess he wanted to make sure that we were going to be good. Hence why he was helping us trying to find Julius. Or at least have Julius be set free. But anyway. As we were. What the fuck was that? It was the only way. I said talk, not set off a goddamn bomb. Relax, Troy. The saints are finished. Don't try to find me. So this is where we find out that it was Julius who set up who set the bomb on the yacht 
blowing up both Richard Hughes and your boy. And I find it, and, and see, and Troy was the innocent party in all this. As you can see, Troy was trying to work out a deal. He, he talked to Hughes, who told Troy that he was going to give us all pardons. We were all going to be able to, you know, walk away. No muss, no fuss. But I don't think Troy knew that Hughes had different plans. Hugh, Hughes was going to make sure there was no more gang activity by eradicating every member of the Saints, including the player. So anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this final tape. Oh, we now have Dex's number added to our cell phone, which means we can now um, talk to Dex. And as you can see, we are in Troy's office. Troy isn't here because he knew we would show up. And uh, he was not going to stand in our way. He wasn't going to arrest us. And obviously, he didn't want to run the risk of being killed. Letting the player know, hey, look, man, I had nothing to do with what happened. That was all them. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to you know, help y'all out, allow y'all to walk away scot-free. But anyway, let's go ahead, pull up the cell phone, give Dex a call. Um, does Dex number no longer show up here? Ah, there we go. It's in the phone book. How you doing, player? If you've gone through Troy's files, you know that Julia set you up. Meet me at the old church, and I'll tell you where to find Julius. So now we can go to the church to do this Revelations mission. Alright guys, so we are at the uh, old church, and we are about to allegedly meet up with Dex. Um, to kill us both. Can we kill each other later? You notice the carpet in there is purple. Dexter and the Dexter. curtains. Looks like he means business. And then there's going to be one upstairs.
of the sea. Ah, they're gonna come in through that door. So Dex set us up. He was trying to get us both killed in the church. Ironically enough. Now we're trying to fend ourselves off from the Masako team that belong that are funded by Ultor. They are Ultor's own police force. So yeah, much like the first game, we gotta uh, defend the church. Now we gotta go defend the east side. Flashbanged. Okay, we got this chopper that's going to do some serious damage. We need to take cover. A helicopter? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on. Fuck you. I'm putting a bullet in Dex's head for this. If we're fortunate enough to. Something tells me I highly doubt we'll be able to do that. I'm just saying. What do you say we get the hell out of here? You shoot. I'll drop. You ain't hearing me complaining. I got some hardware you might like in the back seat. Now, there's going to be a point where there's going to be some helicopters waiting for us on this bridge. I'm going to see if I can try to get them before they do any real damage. Too easy. There they are. Got him. If you didn't get them in time, they would have done some real damage to our car.
ain't come this far to die. See ya. Done. Just like old times, player. Yeah. Jesus. I thought we were past this. Not by a fucking long shot. Don't you get it? The Saints didn't solve a goddamn thing. Drugs were still being pushed. Huh. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. Jesus Christ, you sound like a pussy. <laughs> I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. You want to be the killer with a conscience? Fine. Drop your flags and write a book like King. But you never should have came after me. You telling me, if I would have asked you to walk away, you would have said yes. Fuck no, this is my city. Jesus, you haven't learned a goddamn thing. Wrong. I've learned that being in charge is better than being a bitch who keeps his mouth shut and does what he's told. Your time's over, old man. What's happened to you? I woke up. You owe me, player. If it weren't for me, you would have died on that street corner. Wrong time, Emblems. wrong place, dog. You okay, player? Julius, let's move. Let's go. Here's where shit gets interesting. Yeah, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. I guess that makes us even. Not really. And plus, I'm pretty sure it was Troy who had the pistol in his hand when he shot that Vice King, not Julius. If anything, Julius is only half right. Julius showed up with Troy. He managed to, you know, walk me away from the car explosion. You know what I mean? Before, you know, that explosion could have done some real damage to your boy. Possibly killing him. And then Troy was the one with the gun that shot that Vice King. That would have shot us, you know what I'm saying? If, I mean, but, you know, it is what it is. Museum tour guide found dead in amphitheater. And so, yeah, we got 30k for that one. And we unlocked Julius's car. Alright guys, I figured this would be a good time to go ahead and hit up some of these old tour uh, DLC missions. So let's go ahead and do this. I wanted to talk to the leader of the Saints. I wanted some freckle bitches and a blowjob. But I've learned to deal with disappointment. What you need from the Saints? I need protection. That's probably one of those things you should have thought of for you tried to have the boss killed in a church. I had nothing to do with that. You really need to separate the man from the company. I'm just saying. Attempted murder doesn't breed trust. We're on the same side. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's pretty fucking unlikely. I'm not. Dex's people are on their way. If I don't get out of here soon, the Masako are gonna kill me. Dex? Ain't he part of the old tall family? Families fight. Yeah, but they don't try to kill each other. Tell that to Julius. You got something on Dex or not? You get me through this alive, and you'll find out. Alrighty. Driving, we won't have a problem. Ah, nah, huh? There goes that guy. Ooh, that's, no, that's one strong limo. You were saying? Uh, let's see if we can do this. 
There we go. Quit your bitching. You still alive, ain't you? I'm not. I said, quit your bitching. Ah, hell. This ain't how I pictured my day going. Facts. This some bullshit. Dead. Get your ass in the damn car. No. Damn it. Okay, hold up. Where's that chopper at? Get up, dude! Hurry up, motherfucker.
Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yay! No, nope, we made it. You're too late. <laughs> How was your weekend, Derek? Busy. Yours? Disappointing. Get used to it. I'm surprised you didn't call in sick. Well, I figured you can't kill me at the office. I'm head of security. I can do whatever I want. You're out of your league, Dex. No, you're just out of touch. Maybe. See you at the exec meeting. Altor is one fucked up company to work for, I, I would imagine. All right, let's see if we can hit up the next one. Oh, snap. Hey, thanks for meeting me. I appreciate it. You kidding me? I'm not passing up a chance to hurt Altor. What you got for me? I know about some things Altor wants to keep buried. Honey, I got shit to do. I don't have time for poetics. Hey, who's being poetic? I'm talking about bodies. Well, why didn't you say so? She said she was talking bodies. I mean, I'm fucking bread. Hey, did you find the first body yet? It, it's been like 30 seconds. What's the rush? Well, I'd like you to find the damn things before a Masako team comes after me. How you know about these bodies? Doesn't matter. Seeing as I'm about to get shot trying to get them, hell yeah. I used to work for Old Tour. How? I didn't think they had girls like you on retainer. I worked at the pyramid as a microbiologist, you judgmental prick. A what? Read a book. Oh! The hell did you do to these people? I guess you found the first one, huh? What was left of them? Altor has been experimenting with nanites. The hope is to find a way to increase a miner's lung capacity. And when I saw what they were doing to volunteers, I understand. When you get them all, drop the bodies off at Channel Six. Once the media runs this story, <laughs> Altor is finished. <laughs> Okay, for real? Alright. Out of my way, please. Thank you. Oh, you bastard. Oh, thank you. Got out of the car.
Okay, really? location to get the last body and then I think all hell's gonna break loose with my truck. Okay, I'm sick of these freaking helicopters. go to this forgive and forget right here it's gonna be on the way All right, yeah. no stop don't be don't be dicks motherfuckers oh no you don't oh yes you do Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> All right, that should buy us some time. I hope. suckers <laughs> Woo! But the bodies at the floor but we still made it did you have any problems nothing I couldn't handle good so now what we wait for Jane Valderrama to pick up the story you think she's gonna run it channel 6 didn't exactly go crazy over the zombie limb story no one cares about an undead gang member but everybody hates a big corporation well I mean fuck Ding dong ditch. <laughs> Damn. These altar missions pay out well. 20 minutes later.
told you. This doesn't make any sense. You handed them a huge story. Ulto handed them money. Couldn't you force Valderrama to do something? I see what I can do, but we gonna need some proof beyond a couple of bodies. You came to me with this whole thing. You got any other ideas? If they want proof, our best bet is to get our hands on the chemicals while Ultor is moving them. Aye, right, let's go. like a mission we did in the first game when we took down the rollers we got still a chemical truck okay maybe not exactly like the rollers mission where we had to take down a big rig that was hauling cars Oh, hell no. Asshole. Gotta make sure we take down those choppers because they have rockets. Come on, I shot through his cab. Or his cockpit, I should say. Chopper. Got it. Another one? Hell, there's two of them. Let's buy us a little more time. I don't know how long I can hold these guys off. Come on, damn it, blow up. Damn it. I mean, sometimes today would be nice. I'm just saying. Now 
Out of here. Jane, come on, it's a great story. I want an interview. What? Corporate greed stories are a dime a dozen. I want something more. A whistleblower endangering their lives for justice. That's how you get ratings. I don't know if she'll go for it. Then I'm not running your story. Fine, I'll go talk to her. Later. I don't like this. It's just an interview. It's live TV. Anything can happen. I got shot at getting this shit for you, and now you telling me you nervous about being interviewed? It's stressful. No, people trying to kill you is stressful. Facts. Listen, smartass. You have no idea how hard it is to be in front of the camera. Did you see me on Fuzz? Yeah, you didn't care if you did a bad job. All you had to do was kill a ninja with a chainsaw. True. <laughs> Look, let's just get this over with, okay? I'm not. Uh... Mm. Ooh. Chris Brown on the drop top. Let's go. Out. The hell are you doing? I'm relaxing. You really that afraid of looking like a fool on national television? You're not helping. You'll be fine. Can't you just imagine people in their underwear? Uh-uh. That won't work. I've got a thing with nudity. Then I guess you fucked. <sighs> Again. Not. Helping. We can hold out here. I had the same stash and supplies in case shit went bad. Wait here, Tara. I'm gonna go check, make sure no one's coming. Girl, I thought I told you to wait. Oh shit, I gotta keep climbing. Oh, uh, bruh. Where the fuck are they coming from? Close to me, Tara. Looks like Alto wants to shut you up bad.
Ah, let's go! Oh, that guy popped up in the air. Nice. Where are these other assholes at? Fuck y'all shooting at? I know. Get out of the way, girl. Hold up. Jay's calling. My crew is already waiting for you. Find their truck, and I'll meet you there. I'm running behind. Just wait for me on the slopes below Mount Platter. I'll be there soon. Alright, we'll be here. Oh boy. Here That's right, Jane. The Old Tor Corporation has been using a secret R&D lab to conduct unethical experiments on the citizens of Stillwater. Those are some strong allegations. I'm assuming you have proof. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have the bodies of people who were experimented on, as well as some of the chemicals that were used to do it. And why do you think Old Tor is responsible? I conducted the experiments myself. So these were the acts of a crazed individual. Excuse me? You said that you conducted the experiments. Well, yeah, but... So you admit that you perverted science to serve your own twisted desires. No! Altor was the one that was... It's an all-too-familiar tale. A beautiful woman takes a job at a multi-billion dollar global corporation hoping to fulfill her dreams of microbiology, only to find herself disgusted at her failure to ascend the corporate ladder and turns to mad science in order to blackmail her employer. I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Why did you do that? I thought you were going to help us. Journalistic integrity doesn't pay the rent, Tara. You just humiliated me in public. I just made the saints a lot of money. Listen, honey, Altor was going to bury this story anyway. At least this way, we got a little something out of it. Altor isn't going away. You'll have plenty of time to plot your little revenge scheme. Don't worry, I will. So humble reporter exposes scientists. So basically, uh, Jane Valderrama used uh, us to basically tell her narrative because that's just what the news media do, right? I mean, they all lie. You know what I'm saying? Right. Anyways, y'all, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, in the next one, we will uh, finish off the rest of the other uh, series of old tour missions that we originally uh, started. So, uh, yeah. Till then, y'all, it is your boy, Jason JV, reminding y'all, don't forget to like, comment, course, subscribe, and uh, ding that notification bell. That'll all be very much appreciated. And until the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right? Peace.